Hello again, Liz Rebecca here, and welcome back to another Bruce Monroe Design Team layout. Today we are going to play with this mushroom garden stamp set and since I'm doing the Colorado trip I thought that would be perfect to kind of create um, a, like a base a shelf almost that my photos can sit on using all these fun little mushrooms and we're also going to be playing with velvet 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 velveteen glaze and aqua pigments in some green colors and then we're going to stamp um, we are going to, I don't know if I'm going to stamp and fussy cut them out or if I'm going to stamp straight to my layout. So that's something I got to think about, but if I fussy cut them out, then I can color them in. Um, we're going to be using the Simple Stories in this little collection here just to finish off my father-in-law's Colorado trip album. This is my stepdaughter and this is my nephew. And uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and get some things prepped, pick out what we're going to use, and get the mixed media portion ready, and we'll come back and do that together. So I did the packaging technique with the aqua pigment, and then I splattered it. I've got this strip that I'm going to run across here, and I'll put my photos in about there. So yeah, a lot of that's getting covered up because I misjudged it and should have just drawn a line, but I didn't, but it's kind of cute. So we're going to take the February stencil, which is called Best China, in our velveteen glaze. And we're going to add some more texture right around the edge, right? So we're just going to kind of come in, even though it's a circle pattern. Still be able to get some I got a little messy on the back. So I just took my rag and wiped that off. Coming through. All right, so we're going to let this dry and I'll be back to finish the layup. So I've got some things assembled. I did go ahead and stamp directly on the page. I didn't do that on screen because I was kind of afraid I'd mess it up, but it was really easy. And the only reason I was afraid is because I put these gems on and then I went to do the stamping and that was not like the brightest idea. So now we're just going to kind of go ahead and find some of these little things that I want. To just tuck around. So we're going to call this the travel bucket list. Trim that off. And 
gosh, but I really think those little mushrooms kind of set the entire tone. I think it looks really, really good. We're going to go right on the photo with that. Because they're in the mountains. There's mushrooms there, right? I don't know. I'm going to tuck this guy right there. This guy's going to go right there. So all of our mixed media is just slightly peeking out, which I think is really, really cool. I want this on here, so we're going to stick it right here because it says away from the Wi-Fi. And really not a lot of embellishments are going to be able to, not be able to, but I'm not going to stick them on here. And kind of add just a few little pops here and there. Let everything kind of stick out from behind. I don't like that. It just sticks out like a sore thumb. Let's go ahead and pop in a few of these little guys. So it's pointing at them. I feel like if I add too much, it's going to force it. And I'm not looking to force it. So the only other thing that I really want to add <coughs> is just some sketchy lines at the top. Whenever I have heavy mixed media, I like to do sketchy lines to like, I don't know, hold it all in, right? I'm just going to do it at the top. We'll see how that looks. I apologize if you can hear my husband telling the dog no in the background. All right, well, that's going to do it, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. Don't forget to head on over, pick up all these fun Brutus Monroe products. And do all those fun YouTube things like subscribe, check out YouTube, or check out um, Facebook and the websites and everything. And I will see you guys later with another video. Bye.